Hi, I often call my channel a journey into the fun and beauty of amateur science. That doesn't make my channel a beauty channel, but today we are taking a closer look at some nail polish. Some special nail polish that needs a magnet for full effect and is cured using ultraviolet light. And take a look at these magnets. Do they really have the magnetic poles arranged like illustrated? What's inside them? Let's find out. Excessive magnetism will be used in this video. Intense UVA lights will also be used. Don't stare into it. And be aware that the mefacrylate in the nail polish can cause an allergic reaction in contact with skin. First of all, thanks to my subscriber Dennis from gelag.dk for making this video possible. I have never had nail polish in or on my hands, so this will not be an instructional video or review. I have no clue about what I'm doing. But let me try to recreate the intended effect on a dummy nail. On my first two tries I put way, way too much on. I basically tried painting over the clear dummy. I might as well have poured the nail polish right from the bottle. <laughs> Noob alert. I then remembered that Dennis had mentioned these works best on a black background, with a black base coat. I cheated with a black sharpie. On the third try I moved the magnet slowly across the polish instead of holding it still, erasing the magnetic effect. On the fourth try I was back to using too much. On the fifth try it was perfect, until I dipped the magnet in the polish as I reached out for the UV light. But on the sixth try, after only 10 minutes of practice ever, I nailed it. Applied a thin layer on a black base, held the magnet close and still for a while, cured with UV. Revoilia! A stunning red streak crosses the black surface as the light angle changes. A beautiful effect known as the cat's eye effect. In gemology, also known as chatoyancy when it occurs in some natural minerals. For example in a tiger's eye gemstone. Here a yellow brown streak crosses an otherwise black surface. Mesmerizing. No wonder someone designed this into a beauty product. Now you all know me. I like going big with magnets. What if I replace this cute one with something larger? like two and a half thousand times larger. Starting on the pole surface, it is not going well. It has some red to it for a short while, but it looks like the shiny red bits are pulled to the bottom or aligned in the wrong way. It just turns black or clear, revealing the black base. Neat effect, but a disappointing end result. Then I realized my fault. The dedicated magnet stuck to the big magnet in a for me unexpected way. I thought the magnetic poles were on the large surfaces with one pole on the front and one on the back. But no, this has the magnetic poles on its long side surfaces. I am doing this all wrong. It is on the side of the magnet the red streak appears. Time to switch to my second largest magnet. From a previous video I know this has a stronger field on its side. Ah oh yes, much better. This time the streak is formed from tip to root, perpendicular to the magnetic field lines between the two poles. In the first test I had the magnetic poles on each side of the nail. Alright, with this knowledge on how the nail polish turns clear on the poles and streaks form at the sides between the poles, how did they make these magnetic shapes? Did they stack many small magnets? Actually, let's first find out if they work at all. For this I will use a piece of plastic from a CD case to cover the whole magnet. I will start with the striped one which seems the easiest to make from stacking magnets. Painting with magnets is awesome. 
How about the crisscrossed one? Oh, okay. Looks great, but I did not expect waves. This has a nice, almost three-dimensional holographic illusion to it. Impressive for such a thin layer of material. I'm not surprised it is possible to make something this thin reflective. These reflectors for bike spokes are very retro-reflective for being just a thin piece of tape. They, however, don't have the streaking 3D illusion like the nail polish. This heart shape seems really tricky to pull off with magnetic poles. And it is. It looks more like a rounded triangle to me, but a good attempt nevertheless. Time to find out what's inside them. Hmm. Hmm. It is not a stack of neodymium magnets, for sure. It is a rubbery single piece of black brownish material. This is known as a rubber magnet or flexible magnet. It is made of a ferromagnetic powder, most likely strontium or barium ferrite, bound in a thermoplastic binder. These are often magnetized with multiple poles, alternating between north and south poles across the surface. But I've never seen them magnetized with these shapes. I guess they use some multipole electromagnets to magnetize them. Cool technology. And speaking of cool, these flexible magnets are surprisingly common. You likely have some in your house already. In the seal on your refrigerator store. Yes, the seal contains a flexible magnet on most if not all modern refrigerators. Remember to click like if I just blew your mind. Playing with magnetic nail polish is a new experience for me, but I always enjoy learning new skills and being creative. If you have some creative skills you would like to learn or brush up on, I can recommend the sponsor for this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes on everything from video editing, productivity to makeup. With so much to explore and learn with the support of fellow creatives, they've got something for you to learn and enjoy too, especially in the new year. I personally feel inspired by Dan Dan Liu's class called Creating a Modern Cinematic Documentary with Soul. I will use some of her techniques for my videos. This level of high quality education is often expensive, but Skillshare is giving away two free months of premium membership to help you explore your creativity if you use the link in the description box below. And after that, it's only around $10 a month. I encourage you to give it a try. What would you like to learn next? So far, I have only showed you a few different samples of magnetic nail polish. Let me show you some more colors. I find the C139 most stunning. Comment with your favorite. Alright, hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thanks to everyone who made it possible, including my patrons. Thanks to all my patrons, you're all Awesome! Thank you so much for helping out. It's really appreciated and important for a niche channel with monthly quality uploads like mine. Check out my Patreon page if you haven't seen it yet. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.